Hey guys, it's Half I am back again, and today I am going to do a Bell Box unboxing. I'm doing this at night, so I'm just I'm doing it this way. Um, I have actually opened this and had a look, but I thought I'd do a video anyway because I'm pretty sure I didn't do it last month. Um, or if I did, I don't remember doing it. Anyway, uh, the last time I got it, which would have been January, because this is the uh, March. 2019 one runway ready so um, this card has the things that are in the box on the inside um, on the inside of the box on the card it tells you the recommended retail price etc on the back of the box so the normal box blue with white spots um, has a little stickery thing normally holds it together so the first thing that we have in the box is from La Roche Posay. This is a zinc sulfite solution that is cleansing and soothing. Uh, according to the card, it is a purifying and mattifying mist enriched with zinc sulfate, especially formulated to target the key signs of oily, acne-prone skin. With a versatile formula, it is perfect to use as a toner or to refresh and treat your skin at any time of day. It is an effective solution to help prevent excess shine and tighten the appearance of pores. Um, I probably will give this to my daughter, who has quite an oily T-zone. Um, I don't have an oily T-zone. Um, not anymore, anyway. Um, so I don't know that this would be much use for me. My skin is dry, if anything. So, um, yeah. But that is interesting. It is, for 150 mil, is 24.95. So three times the size of this for $25. Next, we have these cleansing wipes. I can always use cleansing wipes. Um, I have my preferred ones, which are the Swiss ones. These are by Vio. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, they, this is full size, um, and these retail for 100, 100, 150 cents, $1.50 at uh, Woolworths. They have witch hazel in them. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm sure they'll be fine. I will no doubt let you know in an empties whether or not these are any good. So yeah, this is a full size. And it's actually like a dollar fifty for twenty-five wipes is actually pretty bloody cheap, quite frankly. Um doesn't make the box good value, but that's a good price if you're gonna buy them. Um because the box is like twenty bucks in so uh, the bonus item, they usually give you a bonus item. The bonus item this time is a palm olive rose with macadamia oil body moisturiser. So um, I'm sure it smells a lot like rose. I've used these oil infusions before. I prefer the citrusy one to this one, but it's fine. It'll just go in my samples container. We have a perfume sample. Aqua de Palma Chinotti di Liguria. That is a really big mouthful. Um, Chinotti di Liguria, I believe, is the brand. Um, it is a refreshing and lively scent of a unique, unique land of contrast, a perfect memory of a sunny morning walk overlooking the sea, deepening into the bitter Chinoto and Mandarin trees. Um, the delightful embrace of sand and sea echoes in the sunny touches of jasmine and geranium notes then is refreshing by the energetic notes of rosemary and cardamom accents. Finally, patchouli, which they spelt wrong on the card, and musk accords evoke the silence and peace of an untouched nature for a pure moment of well-being. Okay, so Aqua de Palma is the brand. There you go. See, I know shit about this. Shit all about that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so basically, whatever Chinoto is, which I don't know, it is um, a little pump bottle, which is nice. I'm just gonna. Whoops. I've got hand cream on my hands. Oh. Hang on. Mmm. 
Yeah, um, not my fave. Um, musk is not my favourite scent. And that's pretty much all I can smell at the moment. Is the muskiness. It's probably alright for evening. It's not something that I would wear during the day. It's a bit too... Not that I really wear perfume, but you know what I mean. Uh, next, we have from Palmolive. Oh, by the way, that um, fragrance is $119 for a 75ml bottle. So it's not cheap. Um, I can smell some of the other... The jasmine's coming through now. The jasmine and geranium notes, I can smell them now. Um, it's kind of going everywhere. I can't smell mandarin at all. I would be happy if I could smell mandarin, but I can't. Anyway, this is the palm olive hand sanitizer in lemon and white citrus. I don't really use hand sanitizer. Um, I'll probably chuck it in my handbag in case I need a, or my uni bag in case I need a hand sanitizer. It's just not something I usually use. Um, it smells okay. It sort of smells the citrus, but. That is $3.69 for a 48ml container. Oh, this is actually full size. So, um, we got a full size item that costs $1.50 and a full size item that costs $3.69. In a $20 box. I mean, yes, I know the perfume is expensive, but um, they give you a 1.2ml sample. So hardly worth anything. And lastly, we have what is the thing that makes the value of this particular box from Bang Beauty. This is a brow cream. Um, mine is in Auburn, which is, you know, probably not bad considering I'm generally a redhead. Well, I'm naturally a redhead. I don't have red hair these days, but... Um, it comes with a little brush, which is actually quite nice, except for the, it's got a couple of, it's got a couple of hairs doing weird things, but, you know, but I'll probably just use my Anastasia brush. Um, yeah, so, hmm. Um, this product costs $22. And the problem with cream products is they, and this is the other thing, okay, so this is, I mean, I know it's because of the size of the brush. They've basically made the box the size of the brush. There's all this excess packaging in there. And the brushes are never good enough quality to offset that, so, in my personal opinion. But I suppose that's alright. I mean, it is the value of the box. Um, and at least they gave me a colour which will probably work. Um, so I can't completely complain. Um, yeah, so I might get use out of that at some point. Um, I might get use out of that at some point. I'll probably use that. These I will definitely use. This is probably going to sit in my... Um, samples for months and months and months and this will probably go to my daughter so uh, yeah I mean it's not the best box and it's not the worst box I've had so I mean I'm pretty happy I mean it, it reached the value that it should have for what you get so what you pay so yeah um, I will be back with another unboxing of Bella Box in June uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.